You see, we sell high-rise condos here. I don't think you'll fit into our clientele. You're single and poor, after all. He had a point, but did he need to say it to my face? This area is really popular, and it's suitable for rich people. Trouble Busters! My name is Helen, and I'm the owner of a high-rise condo. It's because I inherited the property from my grandfather. The profits from the management of the condo would be enough money to live off. But I still work part-time at a supermarket to keep myself busy. There is one thing that worries me. I'm currently building another condo. But, for some reason, it had a bad reputation, even though it's not complete yet. I didn't know why this was the case, so I decided to go to the premises to check it out. Oh, the condo's almost finished! I hope the people buy rooms in it. Hello! My name is Alan. I'm currently showing the rooms in this new condo. Nice to meet you. Would you be interested in taking a look at some of the rooms that we have available? Yes, please. Alan was friendly and seemed good at his job. I hadn't seen the inside of the building yet, so I was excited. I had forgotten that my condo had a bad reputation, so I followed Alan into the building. Let me give you a brief explanation of the building before we go to see the room. Would you mind filling out this form? Okay, you need information about my job and family. I wrote down that I had a part-time job. I handed the completed form to Alan. When Alan saw what I had written on the form, he looked like he was about to burst out laughing. What is this? You have a part-time job? Yes, is that a problem? After finding out that I worked as a part-timer, Alan's attitude toward me suddenly changed. What does your husband do? Actually, I'm single. I see, and I guess this is not gonna work out. No can do. I didn't get it. My first impression was that Alan was a nice guy, but now he was showing me his dark side. You see, we sell high-rise condos here. I don't think you'll fit into our clientele. You're single and poor, after all. He had a point, but did he need to say it to my face? This area is really popular, and it's suitable for rich people. I thought that you might be the daughter of a rich father or something. But you're just a loser who's single. I should have noticed from the start. My bad. I wanted to point out that he was just an employee too. Alan wouldn't be able to afford a room in this condo even if he tried, so I didn't see why he had to act so superior. Look, I'm really busy. So I don't have time to chat to people that won't be able to afford this place. Would you mind leaving now? Huh? I was shocked that Alan would say such a thing to a potential client. I was really angry. I felt like screaming. I realized that it was Alan's behavior that was causing my condo to have a bad reputation. Will you go already? I don't want you to spread your germs. I might become poor just like you. This condo is really popular. Everyone wants to live here. I'm sick of listening to you. Are rich people more important than other people? You don't seem to understand. Living in a condo gives people power. Someone with no money cannot understand the value of condos. Actually, it'd be really interesting to see how she reacts when I show her one of the rooms. I bet she's never seen anything so fancy. Alan stared at me with an evil smile. I get it now. I'm leaving. I was bored and wanted to see what the rooms here looked like. Well, if you like, I can show you a room. You might not be able to afford it, but I can let you dream about it. I'm a great salesperson. I can show you all the great qualities of this condo. What are you saying? You just made fun of me to my face. Why would I want to spend a minute more with you? Well, I'm sorry about that. But since you made your way over here, why not take a look at one of our gorgeous rooms? I won't force you to, but you'll be missing out if you don't. He was so irritating. 
Okay, fine. I'll take a look then. Good choice! Follow me! The door of each room was beautiful. And there was relaxing music playing in the hallway. I was taken away by the place, and I forgot about how angry I was. Voila! Wow, this place is amazing. It's like a castle. I love the chandeliers. And the place is very spacious. The furniture was imported from France. I'm sure you've never seen anything like this before. Rich people are going to live here. So they would want to live in a big place. The view is great too, and we're on the first floor. I don't understand why that airplane seems so close to us. This looks like a window with a panoramic view, but it's actually a high quality monitor. That's why it's possible to get the same feel as if you were on the higher floors. It was my idea to put the monitors in place. He wanted to brag about himself every opportunity that he got. His words just brought me back to reality. What did you think of this luxurious place? It was great. But I guess that it's too expensive for me. Would you like to know how much a room in this building costs? Or would you rather leave without finding out how out of league this place is? Alan was having so much fun making me feel bad about myself. I don't think they offer loans to part-timers. The penthouse costs three million dollars. With your salary, it would take at least 500 years to pay back the mortgage. If I had bought this place during the Italian Renaissance, I would still be paying my mortgage. Unbelievable. You'd be recorded in the Guinness World Records for having the longest mortgage in history! That'd be hilarious! Alan was getting on my nerves, but I tried to restrain myself. My grandfather would be upset if I picked a fight with his imbecile. You seem annoyed. Did I say something to offend you? You should be happy that I took time out of my busy schedule to show you one of our rooms. Are you upset because a part-timer like you could never buy a place like this? I was the owner of the condo and this idiot salesperson had no idea. I was disappointed in myself for allowing Alan to treat me like garbage. I wish Alan wouldn't make assumptions about me based on my appearance, job, and marital status. I also wish that I looked like the kind of person that could be living in a condo. But on the other hand, I didn't think that appearances were what determined the value of a person. I wanted to teach Alan a lesson for being condescending and rude. I had inherited this property from my grandfather and I didn't want Alan's behavior to be the cause of a condo having a bad reputation. I was strong and I wouldn't let his mean remarks bring me down. Trouble Busters. I decided to go visit Ellen's workplace. Someone is here to see you. Who is it? Her name is Helen. She's the owner of the condo building that is currently on sale. I see. I hope there aren't any issues with the sale. Good morning. Sorry to show up unannounced. Not to worry. How can we help you? I would like to stop using your company's services for the sales activities at my condo. May we ask why? Helen went to see one of the rooms in the condo yesterday. Alan in sales was very rude to her, not knowing that she was the owner. That is very unprofessional of Alan! Yes, Alan was very rude to me, and I'm assuming that I'm not the only one that he's been rude to. We are very sorry for how Alan treated you. Please allow us to apologize on his behalf. We will make sure that nothing like this happens again. I've put it behind me, but I won't be able to work with this company anymore. Is there any way we could get you to reconsider? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to change my mind about this. I then left the office, but the CEO of the company and the secretary came over to my house. Please, allow us to apologize once more. We are very sorry for the unacceptable behavior on Alan's part. As his manager, I feel very bad about what happened. Thank you for your apologies, but like I said earlier, you won't be able to change my mind about my decision. We've invested a lot into this project, and if you've got ties with us, 
Our company will go bankrupt. We will let Alan go, so... Alan also arrived in my house. He came because his bosses told him to and he had no idea why he was called to my house. I'm here like you told me, boss! Why do you need me to apologize to this woman? All I did was show her one of the rooms in the condo yesterday! Alan, do you still not see what's happening here? Oh, um, are you saying that she's gonna try to buy one of the rooms in the condo? I can't believe that you call yourself a brilliant salesperson. I don't understand how you cannot know who I am. Alan! How could you not recognize Helen? And you're being very rude to her! Helen! I don't get it! Alan, do you remember the name of the condo that we're selling? Of course I do! It's Tower Residence Helen! Huh? Helen? Oh no! You finally get it! She's the owner of the building! You need to apologize to her right away for your crassness! I am so sorry! I had no idea! Alan, thank you for showing me one of the rooms yesterday. I'm planning to keep the penthouse so that I can live there. I'm glad that I got to check it out before I actually moved in. Alan, we're obviously going to have to fire you. Pack up your things in the office and go! We never want to see you again! Please don't fire me! I just borrowed a lot of money from the bank to pay off my new car! I won't be able to pay back the loan if I get fired! Shut up and take responsibility for your actions! You can't make me take all the responsibility on my own! That's not fair! You told me that the owner of this building was an amateur, and that I could do whatever I wanted! You also told me to set the prices really high so that our company would make good money! You told me not to waste my time on people that weren't rich enough! Alan, I said no such things! I assure you that Alan is making all this up! Please don't believe a word he says! You were planning to rip Helen off and spend the money to travel the world. I also know that you were going to use one of the rooms for you and your family without paying for it. Alan, what are you saying? You're not making any sense. I have nothing to lose now that I'm getting fired. If I'm going down, you're coming down with me. I didn't know that they were in on this together. I guess it's time to say goodbye to this company. I wish I had realized this sooner. I'm glad that I'm ending things with this company. They're all frauds. You're no better than Alan. Please leave my house now. Alan, the CEO, and his secretary left my house. Soon after, I started my own company and recruited people to sell the rooms of the condo. I made it possible for people with VR headsets that were considering buying a room to take a look at any of the rooms in the condo remotely. I also created shared space in the building so that the residents can mingle with one another. I was interviewed by the media for being a young and successful entrepreneur. Because of this, all the rooms in my condo sold out fairly quickly. Yes, we finished selling all the rooms! Thank you for inviting me to work with you, I'm so grateful! I was jobless after what my boss and Alan did, so I was so lucky to have received your call. I could tell that you weren't one of the bad ones. And you are a really good secretary. I wonder what happened to your boss and Alan. I heard a rumor that they both lost their jobs. They went MIA. The CEO of the company was kicked out by the board for his misdealings. He had also been using the company's funds for personal reasons. The company is now suing him. As for Alan, he had to take odd jobs to pay back his debts. They both shouldn't have made fun of me without getting to know me first. <laughs> Troublebusters. <laughs>